What's up legends? In today's video, we're gonna talk about doing some shop organization, get a little bit more efficient in here, cause it is almost impossible to tear that thing apart. When I wanna get two giant squares off, I can never find the perforated thing and I gotta tear it from the top down and then it gets all wonky on the bottom and I get off the perforation, that sucks. So I wanna design something to hang that. Um, and I know it's not exactly crypto related, but my thing here is what I'm thinking here is if I can just do some uh, Some stuff in the shop some stuff to make me more efficient design some stuff um, I'll learn in that process of you know within uh, fusion 360 and I'll be able to translate that into more crypto related projects like what I want to do here with some motherboard stands, you know, this is just a simple design I printed out for free, but I wanna be able to design my own stand, right? Um, I wanna be able to design more um, more cases and stuff for different GPUs, you know, that's the uh, BC250 right there. Um, and so I just want to uh, go down that route. And I think the best option, the best way I can do that is just to design some stuff around my shop. And then hopefully in that process, I'll learn even more. So let's go on that journey. All right, guys. So this is what I came up with. A little bracket here that's going to fit on the shelf. Um, and then there's gonna be a PVC pipe that runs from one end to another one of these brackets. Um, and then on that PVC pipe, uh, we're gonna have the roll of bubble wrap. Uh, but this is the design I came up with. Um, I can't print bigger than 256 by 256. Um, so I had to break it up into two pieces and it'll allow for the diameter of the roll. Um, and so I broke it up into two pieces. This is a piece that's gonna go onto the rack here. So it's got this hole here and it's just slide onto the rack. Um, and then this fits just right in like this. It's kind of snug. I don't know how that sounds on camera. Hopefully that's not like an annoying noise, but fits in real snug. Um, and bam, doesn't go anywhere. Um, it's, uh, you know, like I said, pretty snug, so it's not gonna slide off. It's gonna take some force. Um, and then it's gonna go right on there. And, uh, another one on the other side, PVC pipe in the middle. And uh, what else do we have here? And then we got the two little end caps for the pipe. So um, when the pipe's on here, um, end cap will be on here. That way the pipe's not gonna slide off and on. It's just a little bit of a lip there and I think it's gonna be enough to, to kind of catch so it's not gonna fall off while I'm you know, pulling off the squares. Um, and then a couple things here, things that I learned. Um, we'll start with my two bad pieces. The very first one, um, doing the supports and it's really hard to do this for some reason because the hole I mean, it's not an exactly a round circle. It's a little um, like oval. Um, and I think that's just from the, the weight of the filament and it's warm and drying uh, or, you know, getting to room temp and all that. And so I think that's the issue. Um, and so um, the first two I put supports on, um, this one was a nightmare. I don't know if you can see inside that, yeah. Um, so getting the supports out of the middle is impossible. I used a giant screwdriver flathead and uh, tried to get it out. Um, and I used the, um, the normal supports, um, just the, the, the square supports. I, I can't remember off the top of my head what it's called, um, but just the regular ones, not the tree supports. Um, and that was a no-go, that was a bad idea. And I did the slit or I did, I did those and I did the slim version on this one. So you could do like the regular support and then you could do like a slim version of that where it's uh, less material. Um, and that kind of worked, uh, but still, uh, if you look in there, uh, probably can't see it, uh, but there's a lot of debris in there that I can't really scrape out. And so that one's out. And what I ended up doing was doing uh, the tree supports but I did five millimeter diameter. So if you look in here, that's tree supports all the way down, um, but they're hollow. So they're like a bunch of circles all the way down as support. And you can literally take a screwdriver and snap each side. And this whole thing comes right off nice and clean. Um, like you can see in here, there's just a little bit 
of some leftover, if you can see on the top there. Um, but what I did was just make this hole just a little bit bigger in diameter and it fits perfectly. So um, that was something I learned is uh, it's hard getting like a, a perfect diameter circle on stuff like this. And like I said, I think it's just because of the weight and the heat and it's not to room temp yet. So as it's printing, it's kind of squishing, even with supports, I guess. Um, and then I also had to throw on these um, these brims here because uh, some of this was picking up off of the, uh, the print bed. As you can see on one of these here. Um, I don't know. Maybe, maybe I'm just crazy. I just threw them on anyways, I guess, because those are fine. Um, and then, that's a good one. When I was printing this guy, um, I guess I do need some small supports here. If you can see a little bit of the filament, that was kind of just the overhang was too big. And so, I don't know if you can see that on there. Um, but there's just a little bit of uh, imperfections, which is fine. It's a shop tool thing anyway, it's not a big deal. But um, I do want to make these as perfect as possible because if I'm selling product, um, this is like my trial and error type of thing. Um, so this one is like perfect. like. No extra filament hanging out, nothing. Um, and then when I first started printing it, this guy was coming off the the print bed. It just it's such a small contact area here, um, and so I uh, just threw some uh, some brims all the way around it and called it good. And maybe it was this one. Yeah, this is the one that was coming off the bed. So that's that's what I was confused with. So that, uh, that actually helped that too, putting brim around all this. Um, that's pretty much it. Let's uh, get this thing installed. Alright guys, that's it for this video. Um, I'm going to be doing a few more of these kind of videos, just uh, making some stuff around the shop, giving me more experience in uh, Fusion 360 um, and just designing stuff because eventually I want to de design some more complicated stuff uh, for like motherboards, uh, maybe uh, phone mining cases, stuff like that. Um, so you'll be with me on my journey um, and if this is something you want to be a part of, uh, make sure you like and subscribe. We'll see you on the next one.